everybody, we are joining Mr. Daisy for his cocktail portion of our unboxing. We missed you very much last month, honey, but yes. you were gone and I was sick and so we didn't have one. We, we just, it was a mess. <laughs> it was a mess. But, but we're back and we are in the bunker. We are yes. in the bunker. So, because we're doing things a little bit different. Um, yes. So, so we're going to do a little, the pre recording. So this will make it nice and easy, so that way we don't have to have Wi-Fi issues and all that kind of stuff. Yes. Excellent. So this month uh, cocktail is going to be the Peach Moscow Mule. Um, obviously, you'll have the download, uh, the printable, yep. which gives you the directions on how to make peach simple syrup. This is our first peach simple syrup. I'm pretty excited because had the leftover peaches on ice cream. Peaches can't go wrong. <laughs> Especially this time of year, it's kind of bright, refreshing, little syrupy, a little bit happy. Um, pretty straightforward, kind of a Moscow mule, uh, pretty easy. So, simple syrup, um, four ounces of ginger beer, that will go in afterwards. Um, we have a couple of different brands here just so that you can get the smaller version. It calls for four ounces, um, or if you have some other folks with you, you can get this stuff or any ginger beer will do. Um, preference being whatever you like. If you like it a little bit more fancy or you like it a little bit more gingery. Yeah, there's different, there's different stronger strengths. ginger. Yeah, yeah there's right? There's different strengths of, of the ginger beer. So we're gonna start off with one ounce of our peach simple syrup. It was really easy to make, wasn't it? Yeah, it was uh, two peaches. Jeez. So one ounce. So it was two peaches, peeled, pitted, and diced um, with, with one cup of water, one cup of sugar. Right there on there. On there. I think I wrote it on there. Right. Two medium peaches, peeled, pitted, and diced. Two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice, one cup of sugar, and one cup of water. Boil, let simmer, and then strain, and you get this loveliness. Um, then you will have one ounce of vodka. Do a good vodka, too, don't... Yeah, I mean, everybody seems to really, really enjoy Tito's these days. Yes, that's true. Which is a, which is a fine, fine... Uh, vodka. Um, I'm just a little more partial to absolute. It tastes a little cleaner to me, but <laughs> one half ounce of peach schnapps. Sorry, if you hear a dog whining, we are babysitting, so <laughs> apologize. That's the Fuji. <laughs> and then you will have the juice from a half a lime which we know is roughly about a quarter of an ounce, roughly. I've done extensive uh, research. <laughs> so, for, so for this though, we don't happen to have the limes. We're going with the bottled lime juice. So it's about a quarter fine. of an ounce. Because the simple syrup is so sweet, you, you're really not gonna taste the difference between this sweetness of and all of that. You will then go for your pebble ice, which Daisy loves his pebble ice. Or where is it you can get that? You if can you... get that at Sonic. Um, all you got to do is just go through the drive-thru, ask them for a bag of ice. I think uh, before, actually, when I was in Wyoming, I went and got pebble ice. And it was, I think, three bucks for a five-pound bag. Nice. Good creative editing. I'm sure that this will turn into a few seconds. About 20 seconds just until the glass gets cold. And then pour that into your designated copper cup. Yep, you gotta have the copper cup for the mule. It's a pretty easy recipe. Yeah, it's really, really straightforward. Um, we're gonna use this ginger beer. Have we tried that one before? Yes, we have. We have some very close friends who are big ginger beer fans, and this is one of his personal favorites. Shout out to Jeff. Shout out to Jeff. So, and then four ounces of 
your ginger beer as a float on top. And then you can garnish this with a nice peach slice or just a little bit of mint. Make sure you spank your mint. Give that a little bit of that. And if you're really feeling festive, nice. Throw the little umbrella in. It's still in. technically summer ish. It is still kind of summer ish. And then you have it the peach Moscow mule. And so, uh, yeah, just give it a little taste. You haven't, nice taste, you haven't tasted it yet. No, this is, this, this is a, this is a, we haven't tried it yet. Completely honestly. ill prepared, so <laughs> forgive all of the We're remarkable We're for edit. vacation in a day and a half, so. Remarkably peachy. Is it good? Is it it good? is very, very tasty. You can really, really taste the mint simple syrup that kind of comes through. Yes, you have about a half an ounce of, of peach schnapps that's in there, but Oh man, that's lovely. It's really <gasps> bright, it's pretty oh, refreshing. That's... It's not overly heavy or syrupy. Oh man, that's tasty. The mint kind of kind of gets all up in your nose, which is kind of nice. Nice. Oh, that's um, that's lovely. But I will say the ginger beer kind of just basically it gives it a little bit of the gingeriness. This is a little bit of a of a stronger ginger beer. It's not beer proper. It's, it's not uh, overly non -alcoholic. sweet, but I like things a little sweeter, and it's perfect and that's really really tasty and that is all in this mm. it's definitely worth the time and effort and it's peach season right now it is or peach we're season. getting to peach season so. some early peaches yeah it was the early because the pieces that we got from the fruit huge. stand they weren't huge but, but they were a little firmer so okay yeah i think peach season runs through august that's so perfect. now it's the perfect time oh that's that was a good wonderful. time so uh yeah it kind of gives it a nice little bit of late summer i like it kind of ease into fall kind of ease into fall but we don't want to rush no summer off no no please don't well, rush summer <laughs> thank you honey that was wonderful excellent enjoy <laughs> and hopefully if everybody likes this with the pre-recorded stuff so that way you can kind of fast forward yeah, it and we, that kind of stuff it hopefully so you're gonna watch this then you'll have the unboxing and then after that, we are gonna try and go live. We will actually be at the beach, but we're still gonna try and go live where you can ask questions to Mr. Daisy about the beverage that he just went through or general questions because he has all kinds of range of knowledge. <laughs> or you can ask me questions about the unboxing and all of that will be on for about a half hour given there's decent Wi-Fi at the beach condo so which we've been told there is we've been told there is so hopefully we will see you then at about 8 p.m on reveal night yes enjoy thank you hey everybody this is christine with coco daisy and happy reveal so we're doing things a little differently then uh we're, we're trying something new and i i'm excited about it. i think it's going to be a lot of fun so what we did, we started with Mr. Daisy's cocktail, and now I'm going to share with you a complete unboxing of all of this fabulousness. This is recorded. So what we're doing, instead of doing all of this live, which especially during the winter months here in Michigan, it gets dark, the lighting is not great. Uh, sometimes we have Wi-Fi issues. And I just wanted you to have a better quality unboxing experience. So we've decided to record these and post them for you at 7 p.m. So as I said, you've already seen Mr. Daisy make his wonderful cocktail for this month. I'm going to do the unboxing right now. And then about 8 p.m., it depends on how long this unboxing video goes, uh, we are going to, Mr. Daisy are gonna sit down and we will be live um, wherever we are. So actually this time, we are going to be at the beach. We're gonna spend about a half hour with you. You can ask him questions about the cocktail. Um, you can try and get him to spill the beans on things, which he does. And you can then ask me questions, um, general questions obviously, but specifically about uh, the unboxing and our gorgeous September collection. I, the other reason that I really wanted to be able to do it this way is when I'm doing the unboxing and going through things, it's very hard for me to see your questions. It's hard for me to be able to talk to you um, about things that, you, that you're that you asking. And 
So I, I figured if we cut it up this way, you're gonna get better quality for the unboxing video and we can have a lot more fun chatting every month. So that's the way we're gonna do it. We're gonna give that a try and I'm excited. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So let's get to all of this fabulous collection. I, It is beautiful, the color palette. Many of you know I'm not a big purple fan. However, I think the little bits of lavender in this color palette make it so unique and so beautiful and it all comes together in this beautiful end of summer uh, collection. We collaborated again with Lanou's Pots and she did a fabulous, fabulous job. And I shout out to, of course, my design team, uh, Jamie and Leah and Arlie and Eve, and how they took her elements and put everything together. And it's just, it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna go through these. I'm not gonna go through all of the inserts. Um, I'll page through a couple of them just so you can get an idea of um, the collection and the artwork and how it's set up. Obviously, we have a lot of insert options. Um, so I'm gonna start with the Dory booklets. So I'm just gonna run through the sizes real quick. If you want a more in-depth look on any of these kits, please check out um, our YouTube channel. We have videos for each and every kit as well as one for the inserts and the stickers and dashboards that I then go way more in depth about how to use them, the sizing, um, like for instance, the stickers, the size of the boxes and that. So it's a great reference for you um, that way, but we don't want the unboxing to be super long. So I'm just gonna kind of quick show you the sizes and then I'll show you one of them with the artwork. The artwork throughout all of these, these booklets is pretty much the same. Um, the only difference is obviously it's cut down or sized accordingly um, to the size of the booklet. So we have a mini, and the mini has the striped page on, fr on the front. And then of course it's, the artwork is a little bit smaller. There's only two sections, and then it has that beautiful artwork on the back. We have, so that is the mini. This is the A6. This is the personal size. This is the standard, this is the B6, and then the A5. So we also offer, and when I go through the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit, I will show it to you, but we also offer a simple dory, which is the same size as the standard. It's like a standard Traveler's Notebook, but the layout is different on the inside. That is the only one that is different from these, but you can purchase it as an insert on its own. So I'm gonna um, kind of flip through. This is the standard size, has a calendar on the front. Aside from the mini, they all have a calendar on the front. And then you go into the interior and the little mouse on the books. And again, look at that color palette. How beautiful is that? And our little kitty. And we've decided to name the little kitty Daisy. And then let us dance in the sun wearing wildflowers in our hair. Isn't that cute? And there's so much in here, you'd have to really look at it. And you can see there's a little ladybug, there's a little mouse. So the artwork came together so pretty. And the little bumblebees. And there's a little daisy with a little daisy. A little sleeping mouse. And I love the little bits of wheat in the collection too, really kind of harkens to that beginning of fall. And it's a very homey collection. You'll see one of the patterned papers has a, has a quilt look to it. So it definitely has that great homey feel. So those are the Dory booklets. And as I said, you can, you can order the booklets of the, as, as just a booklet, or you can order them with the main planner kit. You can bundle them, or you can order them separately. This is our classic vertical inserts. So our classic vertical inserts are for those of you that use um, like Happy Planner or our Daisy Planner. If you use our Daisy Planner, you'll wanna um, just trim them down just a teeny bit. It doesn't usually affect the design at all. You just trim it down a little. 
Um, they are meant more for people who love to do vertical planning. So that's what you have here. You have your vertical planning and you have enough for the whole month. And you have the cute little kitty and the mouse. Beautiful. So you go through, you have all of those. And then you also have the striped pages. And these are perforated. So it's a fun way you can add these in. You can fold it down in your planner. You can fold it this way if you want to. But there's a lot of room for lists. You can tear these out and take them with you. So I love that feature in our classic vertical inserts. And you have enough for the whole month of those as well. So that's that size. And then we have, and I don't have, I apologize, I don't have my personal size insert here for some reason. What did I do with it? Uh, I don't have it. I must have run off with it somewhere. I apologize. But normally there's a personal size insert here as well, which is the size. So you will get the daily um, pages that I'll show you in a minute. It's just like this. It's just, it's a personal size. You can get it zero hole or six hole. This is the B6 size. You can get this zero punched or zero hole or six hole punched as well. And then we have the A5 size, which you can get with no punch, six, six hole or seven hole. So you can use that as well. So I'm gonna, the B6 personal and A5 all have the same um, elements, the same pages. Again, they're just structured a little bit depending on the size. So we have this beautiful, I love, love, love this quote on the front. I think it's perfect for this time of year. I think it's perfect for everything that's going on in the world. Um, and then with the beautiful daisies, you know, I'm gonna be super partial to the daisies in this kit. So that is the front. And then the back has the little mouse on the books for you readers. There's um, a number of elements like that with the books that I think that you'll love. And then of course the beautiful stripe pages. The back of the stripe page has a grid pattern. Don't let yesterday take up too much of today. And you have a whole month of those. And then we have the calendar page. This is just a notes page with a little sleeping kitty. There's the calendar. And then the planning forward. So if you have dates or um, appointments that you wanna record for the next month or for coming up for the year, you can put them in here. And then the weekly. And the weekly is set up for you have Monday through Sunday. This section is divided for the weekend. And then there's the back page of those. Hold on to hope for tomorrow in that cute, the little dandelion. So you have a whole month of those. And then you get to my favorite, which are the daily pages. Now, when you get the daily pages, they're meant to be used as a two page spread. So this page I usually cover up so that when you open it up, you use it like this as a two page spread. And you can customize these sections however you want. If you want to run a line here, um, then you can have you can turn this into two sections. If you want to, you can totally customize this. You could write in hours if you want to. If you plan hourly, if you have a very busy schedule um, for work or anything like that, you can do hourly there. You could do hourly on the grid as well. So those are the daily pages, and there is enough for the whole month. So that is a look at all of our inserts. I have lots and lots and lots of them. And we have some fun things coming up with our inserts next month, and that's all I'm gonna say. Um, I'm gonna move on and show you, actually, let me show you the dashboards real quick because these are the sneak. I don't know if we posted the sneak or not. Um, Cause as I said, I'm doing this real early. It's hard to see these in the sneak because there, um, a, a number of them have a lot of white space. So when I fan them out and take a picture, you don't really see them all. So I really wanted to share these with you. So I my favorite, of course, because it has the little daisies. 
This one I think is gorgeous, the simplicity of it. I mean, you could add things to that if you wanted to, but on its own, it's gorgeous. And then this one, summer passes into autumn in some unimaginable point of time, like the turning of a leaf. So pretty. This one, just a few little details. So this would be a great little note um, dashboard, or if you wanted to put sticky notes on there, that would be a neat way to use that dashboard with the little kitty. This one is um, all full of adorable artwork. And then the nice September one with all the colors. And of course the dashboards come in, you get both sizes, the personal and the A5. They are the same. So this is a look at them in the personal size. I like to use both sizes. I have an A5, I use both sizes in my planner. These work great as bookmarks, um, as subdividers, um, even just adding them on, um, putting lists on the back. I just like to have layers in my planner. Oh, that reminds me, this was something I wanted to mention again. Um, as far as the inserts, before I move on, as far as the inserts go, so if you see um, a number of our design team, you see my, um, my layouts, my video on how I do my setup, there's a lot of layers, there's a lot of crafting that I put into, into my um, setup. However, I want to mention that the original thought behind our inserts was that I wanted something that was pretty. Everything out there was plain, it was boring, it was just black and white. And so the whole reason we started doing this was I started creating my own inserts that had some color and some design and beautiful things to look at on them. And that's where this all came from. So it's not, they're designed, you can just use these as is. You don't have to decorate these. That's the beauty of the kit. You can, you can be as crafty as you wanna be. If you have time, great. If you don't have time, the pages are already beautiful. There's no pressure whatsoever on you to have to decorate these pages because they're already done. You could add a few stickers if you want to. If you don't, the last week I have not had stickers on my daily pages at all. Usually I add a few just because I've been so busy, but my pages have still been beautiful and brought me joy to look at just because the artwork is already there. So you don't, if, if you're someone who, you know, you kind of get caught up in the, well, I want it to look like everybody else's. I want it to be super crafty and super creative. Don't feel that pressure. You don't have to do that. It's as simple as getting the insert and in just enjoying the artwork that's on it. And that's where our saying, making your daily schedule a little brighter. It's that simple. So and we're gonna move on from there. I just wanna, I wanna mention that because I don't want people to ever feel the pressure that they have to have their stuff look like anyone else's. It has to function. It just has to function for you. It has to work for you. So this is our main planner kit. And we have our wonderful new packaging, easy to store, easy to take with you, easy to label if you have leftovers. So we are gonna go through this and I'm gonna show you all of this beauty. So the washi tape, I have one open here has the little purple flowers, the white daisies, the cute little mouse on the wheat, and then the little bumblebee. Isn't that adorable? Love that. And I like that it has the white background. So you get a roll of that. You get our beautiful daisy pen, and this is my absolutely new favorite. I love that. So you get that as well. You get this cute little embroidery clip. It's our little mouse on the book. And then we will go through the die cuts here in a minute. So this I wanted to show you. This is the new thing that we've been doing. And if you look back on my Instagram, you can see where I actually punched one from last month and put it in my planner. So a couple things I wanted to mention about this. So if you look, at the example I have here, this doesn't, I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not. This one looks a little cloudier than this one. There's a reason for that. That is because when you get it, it has a protective um, film on the back. And you can see you just have to peel that off. So there's a little protective film on there that you wanna peel off before you use it. So what we did is for this month, because 
it to me, September, you're in full gear, getting ready for fall. Kids are back in school. Things are getting crazy. It's not as laid back as just throwing hot dogs on the grill in the summer. So you're gonna wanna start doing some meal planning. That helps a lot in when you're super busy. So that's what was the thought behind this month's um, tracker or larger sticky note. So um, Leah did a great job. She added the little honeycombs on there. So you can use these together. That is the intent um, because then it's a great way to hold your little sticky notes. Um, you can tuck it in a pocket. If you have a ring bound, you can punch holes and you can use it that way. If you want to use them separately, you can use them separately as well and just use this as a washi card. So if you look, actually I have last month's right here. So if you wanted to just wrap some washi tape around it and tuck that into a pocket or in your planner, you have that washi tape handy without all the bulk of a whole roll. So you can do it that way. You could actually do them together if you wanted to, if you wanted to do both options. But so you have a lot of flexibility with that little setup. But this is what we have done um, for this month and that is with the meal planning. And I think that turned out really, really cute. So you get both of those. And then you get some extra refills and the adorable little notepad. Now I know, I wanted to mention, um, the pens, we've had a little issue with some of the pens not working as far as the, the ink right away. I've reached out to our manufacturer and we are trying to figure out where the problem happened with that. We'll get it fixed and make sure that some of you don't have that issue. Some have been fine, but we've just heard from a few of you. So I just wanted to mention that, that we are looking into that. We are trying to find out where that error is happening so that it does not happen again. But we do include a couple of refills as well for our fabulous gel ink, which I'm spoiled. This is the only pen I use now. I, I just, we have more of these refills in the store and um, we have ballpoint um, refills. If you don't like gel ink, we have ballpoint um, in black. We ran out, I should have that very, very soon. I thought that they shipped, um, but I'm waiting to hear. So we will have those back in stock very, very soon if you prefer ballpoint ink. And then let's go through the die cuts. These are so stinking cute. Of course it has the tabs and remember all of our die cuts are stickers. So we have our little mouse on the books. Lay that flat so I can lay those on there. We had a little bumblebee and a dahlia. Those are the tags, the little sunflowers. So all of the adorable artwork. Here's our little sleeping kitty with the little mouse and the pill. Isn't that, that is so cute. That would look cute along the top of a page if you wanted to. Do that or the top of a section with the little dandelion, more of the flowers, the cone flower, a little stack of ladybugs, those are cute. Bumblebee, our little mousy, and he's hiding in the flowers. Some daisies, daisies and a little mushroom. And look at this little guy, he's got a little book in his hand. How cute is that? For all, again, for all of you readers out there. And then these are all of, remember these are all stickers. These are all of the tabs. And if you, if you purchased the planner add-on from last month, there was a stamp set in there that had a bunch of um, little headers or labels and those actually fit in both the small tabs that are in the planner add-on and in these larger tabs as well. So um, that's a great little stamp set to have. If you did not get the planner add-on from last month, I think we have a few left and they have that great stamp set in them. So, and again, this month in the planner add-on we have, I can't find them, we have um, some of the small tabs again. So I love those. I think they're super versatile die cut. So. 
have those again. So the main uh, planner stickers, you have um, kind of dates, um, you have dates, days of the week, some of the fun little icons. There's another tab. These are ring reinforcers. And then these uh, little labels will also fit on the tabs as well. You get an alpha, some of the small boxes, another set of dates, and then you get a page of just um, fun uh, decorative stickers as well. And then in the main planner, we have a sheet of rub-ons. I know how much you all love the rub-ons. And so we've got all of that beautiful, fun artwork in here um, that you can use and layer. So you get that whole sheet of rub-ons as well. And then the main planner pattern paper. I love this quilt paper. And then this one, look at that, how fun is that? And then just kind of the pretty little wheat pattern and this gorgeous plaid and then the blue dot, the little petite polka dot. So you get those as well. So that is everything that is in the main planner kit. Now the main planner kit, you can uh, purchase without an insert or you can purchase it with an insert. There's either option. So you have both of those options that you can do with our main planner kit. All right, I'm gonna bag these up real quick. And then we will move on to the planner add-on. There is some fun stuff in there. Oh. All right, let me see those in there just so that I don't have a huge mess on my desk. All right. And as you're watching this, this is the other nice thing. Um, Leah will break this down into chapters so you can skip around and skip to whatever unboxing kit you want to see. So this is the planner add-on kit. And this is a great kit. Um, whatever system you use, there's just bits and pieces and fun stuff in here every month that will work with whatever kind of planner um, system you use. So you get two quick art pens. There is a lavender and kind of a mustard yellow. So pretty. And those just, they just click and they have a nice fine line on them. So you get those two. And then this washi tape, which is one of my favorites, obviously, because it has daisies, but I love the dark background on that. With the navy, that little touch of navy is so pretty. So you get a roll of the washi tape. You get these little embroidery stickers, which are some of my favorite, because I love to put these on um, my pouch or bag, my tote bag. They have adhesive on the back. So you could turn them into clip toppers if you wanted to, but you can decorate just about anything with them. So you have the pretty Daisy, the adorable little mouse, and the little kitty that we have named Daisy. But the detail on these, I'm just always blown away with the amount of detail that goes into those. So, so pretty. So you get the set of three of those. And then you get a set of die cuts. And again, these, as I mentioned, will have those small, um, smaller tabs, which are so nice. If you have a smaller planner or you use one of the smaller Dory notebooks or even in um, like, let's say your larger planner, if you do an A5, it's so nice to use those for along the side for like subdividing um, a section. So I love that the little mouse on the wheat. And you get a bunch of them. So I don't remember how many we had in here, but there's a ton of them. So these are so nice to have. And if you do any sort of um, memory keeping, they're kind of fun to add onto a little photo or to tuck in on journaling as well. So you can use them both ways, I think. The fun little weekend banner, the little mouse in his nest, and then of course this little guy with a daisy. Super cute. 
bumblebees. Oh, there's another one. This is adorable. A little back of the mouse with <laughs> little books, the dahlias, the sunflower, and then there's a little uh, cone flower with a bumblebee too. So you get all of those. And as I mentioned, if you got the planner add-on from last month, it has that great stamp set that um, the labels, if you wanna use, um, there's a whole set of labels that you could stamp. It will fit on these little ones as well. And then you get a whole sheet of these tab stickers. So if you're unfamiliar with these, what these are is you can turn these into little tabs as well. So they peel off, they're mirrored images, and they're perforated, so they bend so you can stick that along the edge of your page for tabs or the top, however you wanna do that. Now, if you don't wanna use these as tabs, just simply cut them apart and then you have just decorative stickers. So you can use them either way, but the intent um, is for them to be tabs and they all have we've added a little perforated line there so that you can fold them real easy so like this little guy you could run him at the top of a page peeking out and a little kitty on the side so you get a whole sheet of those and then my favorite things are the note cards that come in the planner add-on. They're always beautiful. I love the sayings on them and I love to tuck these in my planner. Sometimes I have them hold um, pockets on the back. Sometimes I have them hold some of my sticky notes, but they're always so, so fun. This one is super cute too. The take a moment to simply breathe, let today be what today needs to be. And that has the little kitty on it. The swatch card, which is pretty, you can decorate this, but you can also use this um, to match up colors as far as markers or pens or stamping ink. That works well that way too. And then the small little sheet of um, kind of appointments or date stickers, little reminder notes. There's even a little reveal one. There's one for shipping. And then the days of the week. So we have all the days of the week for the month with the little flags and an alpha, which is always nice to have, some of the little icons, some dates. I use these little round dates on my weekly pages, and then um, a sheet of decorative as well. So you get a nice mix of stickers, functional and fun, and then you get these great, I just, I love the, the note cards, those are always my favorite. So that is everything that is in the planner add-on. I'm just going to try to not spill all of this and put it back in here. I love the colors of this kit. It turned out so fun. Okay, that's not going to work, so I'm just going to shove that over there. <laughs> all right, and then up next is our classified planner. So if you don't want to know what's in here, then step away or skip to the next chapter because uh, if you want it to be a surprise, you can wait. Otherwise, I am going to show you what's in here. Make sure I got everything out of there. We will start with the vellum and the overlay. How adorable is that overlay? with all of the daisies. I love that so much. So that is the overlay. And then our vellum is be positive, patient, and persistent. The sun's kind of shining on that weird, but it's in a pretty yellow. So that's just printed on the vellum. And then you get this fun lavender gingham washi tape. Like I said, I'm not normally a purple person, but I love that little touch of lavender in here. It's growing on me, purple's growing on me. You get a fun little rubber clip topper and it's a daisy because, well, I had to. Isn't that cute? Super cute. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is going. And then you get one of our buttons and this one says, what's the buzz? And it has the little bee. You'll notice it's hollow on the back. 
It's because it's meant to work with our magnetic clip. So you can change them out every month. And we do have more of these in the store again. And so that um, you don't have to have a ton of clips, you just have one clip and then you can have your collection of buttons and you can switch them out whenever you want. So that's really fun. So you get the little button. Then something new that we did is a set of sticky notes. So we have these flag sticky notes, these with little daisy and the noted. And so you can use those in your planner for little flags to mark things or in a book as well. We have our fun little Simon note card. It says, okay, who let Simon have the label maker? And he has labeled everything because as we know, Simon is very organized. And then you get three sets of stickers. You get this one that has all of the days of the weeks or uh, the days of the week and you have enough um, for the whole month. So there's four versions, and then there's a couple just little decoratives in there. And these are really fun. These little clouds or even thought bubbles, these are really neat to um, put in your planner if you write, wanna write in dates or appointments, that kind of thing, um, or even use them in, in memory planning as well. And then um, just fun decorative of the kitty and the mouse, and there's a couple little books in there, and the bumble and the ladybug. So that is everything that is in the classified planner. And again, that's one of those kits that it's just has some of that fun extra stuff. If you, if you like having the, the overlay and the vellum to add into your planner for those kind of layers, that's kind of a neat thing to do. You can do that. All right, let's go to the pouch because this is adorable. And it is the larger size like we started last month. Mine's a little wrinkled, I have to steam it. I'm kinda um, got a little wrinkle. But um, it has the little mouse on the wheat with it, all of the little flowers. It's the same design on the other side. As I said, it's, um, it's the larger size now so you can fit your stickers in it. This is a separate subscription. Um, so you can subscribe to this separately. It is not included in any of the kits. Um, for those of you that like the plastic pouches, don't worry, there's one coming up. So um, just the designs and the artwork have looked so beautiful on the linen or the canvas. We've opted to do that for the last few months, but uh, never fear, I promise, there is a, um, a clear plastic one coming up soon. All right, I'm going to start with the Modern memory keeping kit. So I apologize. So the the stamp sets that I'm going to show you, um, as I said, I'm recording this early. I don't have the final ones. So you see my <laughs> my muddy used sample ones, and that's why I didn't want to put it in with the stuff because it's I don't want to get um, ink on stuff. But this is the stamp set that comes in the kit, and please check out my um, stamping videos because they, I do a stamping video for each kit rather than the printed inserts that we used to do. Um, we're being a little earth friendly and saving on paper that way. And then also I feel giving you a lot more content when I can talk about the layouts I did and ways, um, ways to use the stamps, ways to use the product. So you'll see videos. If you check out our YouTube channel, you'll see a video on how to use just the stamps and then you'll see a video on how to use um, the contents of the Modern Memory Keeping Kit, and then there's one for the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. I go through some examples of layouts that I made using and talking about design, talking about product. So I feel like you get so much more information um, by me creating a video than just the printed sheet. I had to really condense stuff to get it on the printed sheet. And I also like the not having to waste the paper. So, um, that's what we're doing a little different. So make sure you check out all those videos. There's so much great information on how to layer the stamps and use the stamps as well as the product. So as I said, this is the Modern Memory Keeping Kit. It goes in our great new packaging. Um, easy to keep all of your stuff in here. Take it on the go, use it, keep it all together. Love that. 
So you get a set of glitter dots. Let me move this stuff out of the way. So you get the stamp set, you get the glitter dots. You get these beautiful embossed puffy stickers. They are so pretty. In fact, I'm gonna take one out so you can see it. I love these. Look at the detail. It's so pretty. So you get that. And then the die cuts, and we'll go through these real quick. Remember, our die cuts are all stickers. I know I sound like I'm repeating myself a lot, but I know we always have new people, and some people are not aware of that, but they are all stickers. You just have to peel the, um, the backing off. I can do it. I just had my nails done, so they're kind of thick. I don't know if I can do it. I don't want to take up too much of your time. But anyway, there's a backing on there that you can peel off if you didn't just get your nails done. A little bee happy, the bumblebees. And the um, I did a mini album and a daisy planner spread, a memory planning spread, and I used up literally, I think there's three die cuts that I have left. I used up so much of the product this month especially in my little mini albums. Make sure, like I said, check out that fun video as well. Some of those, the little hexagons, which are cute. The best from today, and then a couple of circles as well. And then let's go through. I used this for photographs, so they're already out of, um, Usually they come wrapped with a piece of paper so they don't go all over. But I had to take them apart because I was doing sneak pictures. So these are the four by six cards. You get four of these. So I just flip through these real quick. And this is actually what I created my mini album out of. How cute is that? So make sure you check, like I said, check out the video and I go through that whole mini album. Fall in love with Autumn and the cute little Be Happy. And then I'm just gonna real quick go through these for you. All of the beautiful colors. And I feel like there's a nice mix of um, sayings, of plain or just like patterns, as well as um, areas for journaling too, which is what I really like. So you have the meh. There's another one in here that says, that's the same font that says sweet. So you can go either way, whatever kind of day you had, actually. What we ate today. Happiness is a full belly. Be positive, patient, and persistent. I love that one. For our readers, there's a little fall book list. A little Daisy the Kitty. This is actually one of my favorite ones. It's just this pretty little petite flower. And there's the sweet card. It says that's a hard pass for me. <laughs> so not all the cards have to be positive because not every part of your day is positive, right? Not everything is perfect. So like I said, I think there's a nice mix of all of that in there. So those are the cards. You get 24 of the three by four, you get four of the four by six. So a ton of cards, and they're a nice heavyweight cardstock as well. You get a set of the Puffy Alphas in this kind of warm kind of chartreuse green. And then set of the chipboard stickers, all of these tags, which was actually my inspiration for my mini album. Super, super cute. And sheet of our favorite, the rub-ons. So you get all of those rub-ons. And then you get six sheets of pattern paper. There's three designs. They're double-sided, so you get um, two of each. So you get um, two sheets of each pattern. There's that one. So you can see that pretty, this one's my favorite, I think. The green. So you get six sheets of pattern paper that you can use as well. So you get all of that in the, as I scooch my 
sheet all over in the modern memory keeping kit. So, and again, you just saw my sample one there. Um, just disregard that. I just don't have the, um, the finished stamp yet to show you. So it's, it's all inky and messy, <laughs> but that's okay. You get the idea. All right, now we're gonna move on and I'm gonna show you, it's a good thing I have a big desk here. I'm gonna show you the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. And that has this stamp set. And as I mentioned in the video for our stamping video, um, we have another grid block on this, on this one. So we are continuing on with that theme. Starting, I think, October, we we don't have another grid. You, we've given you a bunch of them, but we will continue on with um, the month and the the number for the month and some of these other things. But then it leaves us room to add a few more other stamps in there. So that way you kind of get the best of both worlds. Um, I I won't say that to when we round out the complete set that we don't have another grid at another point. Uh, but for the next couple months, we will we will ditch the grid. We figure you've got a bunch of them, to, different ones to use, and then we'll expand some of the other stamps um, on that. So this is the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. And again, it comes in that great packaging. And I'm going to show you the washi tape that is in this one. And it has the yellow background, and it's all the flowers. How cute is that? It's super pretty. So that is in the Traveler's Notebook memory keeping kit. So you get the roll of washi tape, you get a set of glitter dots, you get a set of a beautiful, bright, warm yellow uh, puffy alphas, and they're in that smaller size. We did the smaller size this month. Oh, and you also get a set of the embossed flowers in this kit. Some die cuts and go through these real quick. Out. So there's a little bumblebee, the little noted, this cute little ticket, which I like. And there's a hexagon, the story, and then some flowers. There's a dahlia, pine cone, or cone flower, sorry, daisy. And then another little hexagon. And then living our best life. So these are great for putting dates um, or small little word stickers. If you have them, they're fun to do that. Or layer, I like to layer them with these other stickers, with the other die cuts, and then a cute little tag as well. And I'll just show you, I think I have it here. I do not. I had. Mm, let me look. One second. No, I don't have them. I was looking for my example of what I did um, using the Traveler's Notebook. I was going to show you how I layered some of those, but I don't see it right here. Anyway, so moving on. Rub-ons, and I love these swatches, so fun, and I used those as a border. And then the Traveler's Notebook uh, cards, these will fit in the Dory booklet, will fit in the Simple Dory, they work great. So they are meant to be just a great way to layer, a great way to finish a layout super quick. You have savor each and every moment. The, and so the story goes, enjoying the simple things, and then lazy day musings with the little kitty and the mouse. And I'll show you the booklet in just a minute. And then again, the pattern paper. So you get six sheets of pattern paper. I love that one too, that one's pretty cool. And then we're gonna page through. Now this um, simple dory, comes with the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit, or you can purchase it separately. So, or you can get this as an insert with the main planner kit. You can do either way. So, oh, and I wanna mention, I like to mention this. 
So the pattern runs all the way around. So if you prefer not to have the craft cover, you can take that off carefully and then just have the patterned cover if you prefer. So I just page through, we have this beautiful saying on there. The little mouse and the daisy kitty. And it's set up to, to be able to, you can journal in this, you can bullet journal, you can, um, you can art journal, you can use this obviously on the go if you wanna do a little travel journal. Super easy because you've already got it, you know, there's pattern paper, there's a dot grid or a regular grid on the other side. So it's really, really simple. The, the kind of the, that's why we call it a simple dory. It's, it's made to uh, make your layouts fast and quick and easy. And then the pretty daisies and then the back page. So that is everything that is in the Traveler's Notebook memory keeping kit. that together and then I'm going to move on and I'm going to show you the um, the classified memory keeping kit and the classified memory keeping kit is a fun one to just um, any type of memory keeping paper crafting that you do it's just a great little bit of extras that you can use with all the other kits in fact I use a lot of the product in it even for my planner. And that's the beauty of everything we do because we create a completely coordinated collection, everything works together regardless of if you do planning or memory keeping, it all works together so well. All right, so this is, and I don't have a sticker on here, apologize, but this is the classified memory keeping kit. If you don't wanna know what's in here, skip to the next chapter or walk away for a few minutes. <laughs> All right, and it has one of my favorite things. We've done this um, a couple months. I love these. They're nice, large alphas. Um, they're already die cut and they have adhesive on the back. So you don't have to try and glue the little letters down or anything like that. Um, I love these. I love when I can add a bold title on my page, um, in my memory planner. I, I love to use these. Um, I love to mix these with smaller alphas and create titles, subtitles, and mix and match. I love, love, love that. And they're a great, simple sans serif font as well. Move that over. And then the die cuts that come in here are usually, um, so if you've noticed like the other die cuts, they'll, we'll have some sayings and, and, and some little banners and stuff like that. Um, in, in the classified memory keeping kit, they're always just artwork. So they're great for layering and tucking behind photographs, for decorating, layering with some of those sayings or the circles, like for instance, this, I'm gonna grab this. This is from the modern um, memory keeping kit. Look how pretty that works layered with those. So that's what we like to have in this kit. Again, it's just that kind of extra fun stuff. Um, that's why we like to do the art only ones in here. And again, these are stickers. How cute is that little daisy kitty? And then the little books. Bumblebee, some more of the flowers. Look at the sunflower with the bumblebee. Adorable. A little bucket of flowers and then our little sleeping mouse. And then because I know I'm gonna hoard these and I think they're spectacular, <laughs> Whenever we do these, I always put some in the classified memory keeping kit because I really have a feeling that you all love these as much as I do and you wanna use them, but you also wanna hoard them. So that way, if you get the classified memory keeping kit along with one of the other memory keeping kits, you have a set to hoard because the detail on them, they're just so beautiful. So you get another set of those and another one of my favorites are these oversized tags. So fun. I use these as bookmarks in my planner. Goodbye summer, hello autumn, and then the little kitty on the books. This would be great just as a bookmark in your book. Like actually use it as a bookmark in your book because it has the, the little um, books on it with the kitty. You could write on the back, you could keep a list of books you're going to read or books you have read. So it would be a neat way to use um, that tag. 
You get a fun sheet of, we call it like word fetty. It's just a bunch of little phrase and word stickers that you can use, obviously layer these with all of the die cuts. You can layer these in your journaling. So that's just fun. It has all those great colors. And then of course you get um, a sheet of each, one sheet each of our beautiful planner paper. So pretty. So it's just a fun little kit, like I said, just to kind of get that extra stuff. I keep knocking my, I gotta tape that down next time. My, my, um, my white board, because you don't want to see my messy scarred up desk, which I think I need a new whiteboard because this one's kind of kind of getting a mess too. So that is the classified memory keeping kit. Okay, wow, we are almost done. That is a lot of stuff. That is a lot of stuff we put out every month. Not to like, I'm not like pat myself on the back or my design team on the back. I'm just, why well, I'm patting them on the back because they're amazing. I'm just, it's a lot. Like when I sit here and I go through it, it's like, that's a lot. <laughs> and then of course, our gorgeous 12 by 12 paper. So our scrapbooking kit is at capacity right now. So um, thank you all very much. I don't know if we've reached capacity at this point with the papers. There may be a few of these um, that you can purchase in the store for early ordering. But I wanted to show you. So again, you get 12 sheets and this stuff is heavy. Our cardstock is amazing on these. And then, so you get two of each design, so you get 12 sheets. So I'm just gonna show these to you. I love that daisy with the brown background. And this beautiful quilt. My mother does amazing like art quilts, and so I can't wait to use that to um, record. And sometimes, and this is an instance of this, sometimes when we create our 12 by 12 papers, we switch it up a little bit and include a couple that are only found in the 12 by 12 papers. And this is one of those. It has this great honeycomb. So this is only on the 12, in the 12 by 12 papers. You cannot get these two um, are not in any of the other kits. So just as a special little, isn't that pretty? Love that and a pretty plaid, and then there's a green plaid, and this lovely little petite blue dot. So that is the um, papers. You will get 12 sheets of paper in the scrapbooking kit, or if you order just the pattern paper, you get 12 sheets of paper as well. So that is, Oh, no, wait, I've got to do stickers yet. All right, one more thing. I've got to do stickers, hold on. All right, so moving on to these stickers. I wanted to unpackage them real quick. I didn't want to waste your time by me struggling with packaging. <laughs> so we have a lot of different um, sticker sizes, options, kits, and make sure, as I said before, like for the inserts, check out on our YouTube channel and you will find um, the dimensions of the boxes and everything and kind of what some fun uses for each sticker kit there. So it goes a little more deeper. I'm just gonna quick go through these. This is our Bible journaling sticker kit. So there's word fetty, phrase fetty, fetty some of the boxes, um, some of the little sticker strips and dates, some more of the nice boxes, a beautiful alpha. And then our matte clear, which are kind of like a vellum almost. They have the, the beautiful um, scripture and sayings and then the little washi strips on there as well. So that is the Bible sticker kit. The Daisy add-on sticker kit. Now this one is just four sheets um, and it works with anything. The Daisy add-on sticker can work with a planner, it can work with memory planning, memory keeping. You've got the fun decorative and the little sayings. And again, some of the quotes on the matte clear or like the vellum. Some of the fun little boxes and then an alpha. That is the Daisy add-on sticker kit. And then the planner sticker kit. 
And these work with, um, oh, I, you know what? I'm not gonna say it because I might get it wrong. But so like I said, go on and check the sizes of the boxes. I, I believe, no, that's the classic. Sorry, see, that's why I'm not gonna say it because I'm gonna get it wrong. Because there's so many numbers in my head. So the little vellum dots and your boxes. Some more of the boxes. And we've revamped these a little bit. Um, and I'll point out what we've done. So there's the dates, that's new. There's the hydrate, some of the word fetty, and some more of the other boxes. We've added these great little appointment reminders or little trackers. There's laundry, vacuum floors, cleaning, water plants. So we've added those on there. Um, we have four of the weekend banners on this one. And then you get these great washi strips and these little watercolor uh, washi pieces as well. So that is the planner sticker kit, the classic planner sticker kit. And I believe, I believe that these fit in our, um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this right now. Nope, it's the memory keeping. See, I knew I'd get it wrong. Ha, that's why. Pay me no mind. That's why I have the in-depth <laughs> video. <laughs> so you get the boxes, you get some of the smaller boxes, quarter boxes, half boxes. And again, we revamped that so you have some of those great little um, reminder stickers on there. Some of the sayings, the dates, and some of the fun uh, decorative, the weekend banners. You get an alpha and some sticker strips and then some more of the matte, clear, or kind of vellum stickers. And again, that is the classic planner sticker kit. We have our Daisy Weeks, which if you have a Hobonichi Weeks, these work great with that. Um, they go side by side, so you can see those. Cute little Monday, Tuesday, and then this great set, this is that matte, clear, or vellum as well. And then we have our calendar um, Daisy Week sticker. This is to decorate, if you have a Hobonichi Week, this is to decorate the calendar portion of your um, Hobonichi. Or our Daisy Weeks, we have a Daisy Weeks um, booklet that you can purchase in the store and it works with that as well. This is the memory keeping sticker kit. So you get these great little, um, and these are on that vellum or that matte clear um, backing and they work great to layer like with the labels or if you wanna make a title. These are great for memory keeping, memory planning. Obviously you can use them in your planner as well. These work great in the Daisy Planner. These will fit. Some more dates and the little sayings. Some of the decorative, the little labels, a nice alpha, and then some of the great um, quotes as well. And that's on that matte clear too. So that is all of our sticker kits. We have a bunch of them. And with, um, we did the pre-order for our October, we did the pre-order for the Halloween kit because that is not a subscription. It is not, um, the Halloween kit is not part of any subscription. It's just a complete add-on. So we did a pre-order for that and we started something new, which is really fun. I'm having a set of stickers made up, a sticker kit that's a Halloween sticker kit. If you all really end up liking that, I think going forward with each holiday, we'll make a special sticker kit for the holidays as well. I think that'll be really fun. Um, that pre-order is done, but we do have some left that we will put in the store for regular purchase. Uh, when the time comes, when the October stuff is listed. But I did grab my traveler's notebook. I found this real quick because I wanted to show you what I was talking about um, with the die cuts and using those, um, the card as a jumping off point. So I just wanted to quick show you that. Remember, you can um, go to our YouTube channel and every month I make a video for each of the memory keeping kits to showcase how to use the product with a couple layouts. So we did that, so make sure you check that out. So that is everything for September.
Lots and lots of fun, beautiful stuff. I hope you're as excited as I am about this. Oh, wait, wait, no, there's more. Oh my goodness. There is a stamp set. And again, I apologize, this is my sample. This little stamp set is not included in any kit. It will be an a la carte purchase. Obviously our subscribers will have first dibs on it. There's a limited supply of this. Um, super, super cute. In fact, let me take my little sheet and I so you can just see them a little better. This is from my stamping video um, and I stamped them on here so you can just kind of get a good idea of the detail and everything that is super, super cute. So that is an a la carte item and it has the flowers and a couple of the little critters on there. So that is also um, part of the collection this month. So I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. I hope that this, um, the way that we're doing it now is gonna work out well for you. And after this, Mr. Daisy and I are gonna go live. We will be at the beach this, this month. Um, when reveal is happening, we're gonna go live and spend a half hour with you. And if you have any questions about anything that I've uh, shown you here, I will be bringing all this stuff with me so I can dig it out and I can talk about it and you can ask me and um, just we'll have a good time. So I can't wait and I will talk to you soon.